Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded video where today we're going to be going over a topic that I wanted to cover with you guys for a little while and that is what would you do during the time that you're waiting for Grounded to update and that is prep yourself for other updates. I know that sounds weird like why would you do that and I got this idea after building you guys a five best places to build a base for other updates but then it came to me thinking it's like well Everybody's sitting here just waiting for updates to release. Why not give them a project that could take them some time to build? So what I've started is a giant bridge here. Now you guys see that I built a bridge from this side all the way over here. And on this side, I put down some foundations. On the other side, it's literally just attached to the rock. And the reason why I've done this is so it's supported on both sides. But what I would suggest that you guys do is go through and make this bad boy three wide. Because you definitely want this thing to be wide enough that if something comes to attack you, that you have a way to guard yourself, right? To make sure that nothing happens to your base, more or less. Um, because the last thing you want to happen is you're out here, you're building, you're building, you're building. You're getting out a really cool thing done. And then all of a sudden a ant comes like a worker ant or a soldier ant comes destroys one part of your bridge and the whole thing collapses and then well there goes all your hard work also let me take a step back to say this is not an original idea building a bridge across the pond but i would say that this is a cool idea to start to try to do and also no this should not be your exact build that you could do all the way across the bridge i want you guys to reach out in your creativity and be able to build everything that you guys want to build on your own and I would love to see the different kinds of builds that you guys have for your bridges that go across the pond because really that's really cool. I would even say that at some point maybe you guys should put in some sort of ramp or stair system that goes up to build yourself a little area over just in case they add boats to the game because if they add boats to the game you're going to want a little bit more room. Now, what I will say is there's one other small part that I think you guys should add to this. And yes, I'm talking about when they getting prepared for parts that are going to be coming later on in the game, updates that we are not ready for. So as you'll see, I have two pieces on each side, signifying that you should have about a three wide bridge. But then I'm going to put a fourth one on this side. And Sim, why are you doing that? Because I believe one of the next updates that's going to come is to this area that's up here. And let's face it, when you have to get up here, you either have to run all the way over here or all the way over here to climb up to get up there. And that is a huge pain in the neck. Guys, it takes time. And I don't like anything that takes too much time when playing this game because I'm all about efficiency when it comes to this game. It's a building game. Why wouldn't you get ready for updates that could come the most efficient way possible, right? So this is my idea, my little fix to it. Now, you could easily adapt this to make it so you have, I don't know, um, uh, staircases to do this or you can make it a lot fancier but I'm gonna do it a really cut cheek way that's easy for everybody to build I understand that everything that I'm building here right now is going to take a lot of time for you guys to grind resources but let's face it there is a lot of uh, grass stems right over there there's some good amount of weeds and you can even put some blocks over here to keep yourself some supply for when you're building out here and yes, there always is the hazard of falling into the pond with your items and then losing some of them. I know that's a pain, but it's something that we have to look out for because it could always happen. But let's talk about this uh, idea that I have going over here. Now, this is an idea that I've adapted from a couple people out there. And look, all you do is you put down a... a roof like this and then you just start building your way up okay and i tend to go under that way i can walk on them up like this now before you guys say so why don't you use stairs because if i do it this way i only have to make less trips okay that's the only reason why i do it this way if you use these clover roofs you can just fill your inventory full of clover leaves and then you only have to go back and forth for the actual weed stems and when you can carry eight weed stems at a time it's a lot easier to do it that way so let's go up just like this and we're going to go up and up and up and I'm just going to slowly build a ramp that goes all the way up here like this. Now I did start mine a little bit further back and there's a reason for that because it does take time when you're building out here to get all the way up there. You want to be careful not to do this too close to the wall because otherwise what will end up happening like a practice build that I was doing a little bit earlier is you won't make it high enough to get over the top of these rocks up here even if you were to put in a trampoline. Now I know that this kind of seems like a waste when you could just build yourself a trampoline or an elevator or just something that's right over there to get yourself all the way up here let alone just a big old staircase i get it you could do that and you're right you could but um 
I, I just, I don't think that that's very much fun and I would rather do it this way. So what I'm going to say is that I did go a little too high here. All right. I went a little too high. You don't need to go this high. In fact, I may go back and shorten this up to make this a little bit more efficient for me in the future because I plan on building one of these on my home world to get me up over here because this going to not only unlock this area and you're going to be able to get up here, but you're also going to be able to get into this pond that's up here, the upper pond level where they're planning on putting a waterfall, probably the mosquitoes and leeches and some other things as well. So it looks like that I'm about probably four too high. I needed to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 pieces backwards. So as you can see, if they're like this, you can run down them like stairs and you can run up them like stairs. So there's not really a reason why you need an actual staircase if you build with these. So if I needed to go 14 in and about four less high, so actually, I'm going to say that's about 18 in. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So if I started building right here, okay, I would probably be able to build my way all the way up here without a problem. And I probably will do that in a later time. But let's go back up to the top and talk about how to finish up this build to make it so it's the most efficient way for you guys. All right. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a little bit of time. I'm going to grind out and I'm going to actually build up a little bit. That way you guys can see what my end all product that I'm trying to get for you guys to have this look looks actually like. So you guys could try to copy it and then you guys can change the build to the way that you guys think. And I will time lapse at that way you guys can see my progress and through what I'm building. So the last parts that goes with this build is after you're all the way up here and you built yourself a little platform up here. Once again, this is going to give you another anchoring point. I'm just going to jump down here because I you just don't need to be up here. So I'm just going to jump down here to right here. There's one last thing that you need to do. And this is going to be the most time extensive part of this whole thing because it's going to make your life a little bit easier, but it's going to be expensive and you're going to need to kill a lot of spiders and you're going to need some weavers. So let's talk about it. And that is you guys, you're going to want a zipline anchor point. So you're going to get a zipline anchor point here, right? And then what you're going to do is you're going to go all the way down over there and you're going to put down a zipline anchor point. Okay. And then that's going to make it so you could zip halfway across the pond without a problem. So I'm going to jump on down here ah, boop. and I'm going to attach my zip line and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to put the other one all the way back up there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter the time lapse. I'm going to build out my bridge here for you guys to see. And then I will um, come back and chit chat with you guys a little bit more after I'm done with it. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how easy it is to destroy something on your bridge, which is why I say it needs to be anchored multiple times. See, this is the supporting 37. If I destroy this just like this, that entire thing that I just built is now gone, which is why you want it more supported. OK, so I will be right back. I'm going to work on this. I'm going to get this built out for you guys in a time lapse, and then I'll come back and chit chat with you guys a little bit more after it's done.
All right, guys, so here we are with the build. I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of a time lapse there. I plan on doing a lot more of these now, and what I'm going to say is that the bridge is not yet done. I will put a finished picture on the thumbnail for all you guys to see, but yes, I did not finish it all the way because I know that a lot of people, the first thing that they're going to say to me is, Sim, why in the heck are you using so many freaking weed stems? That's going to take forever to get. And I'm going to remind you guys that the reason why I'm showing you guys this build is so you guys have something to do while we are waiting for the game to update. That's what all these builds are going to be coming up over the next week, which there are going to be multiple of them that are going to be coming out, are here to explain to you guys so you guys have just have something to work on while we're waiting for Grounded to update. And yes, I know we all want Grounded to update immediately, and believe me, I'm right there in that boat with you guys, and I can't wait for them to, to actually push out an update so we have more things to do. But this is more or less the idea of the build, okay? You have a giant bridge that goes all the way across. Do the roofs how you want to do it. Do the top of the bridge. Don't put a top on the bridge. Heck, you could go through and literally just line it with a whole bunch of... Uh, of fencing if you want to but personally i kind of like this idea a little bit more with the open window concept it kind of reminds me of uh more or less lord of the rings lake town uh for some reason i don't know why that's what comes to my head whenever i see a bridge that looks like this um so that's kind of my idea with that and then coming all the way over here, this is the general idea of the build. You have a way that you get all the way across the pond with ease of access. You can come out here and you can run all the way up a, um, a set of stairs or in my case, a set of roofing pieces that's a lot easier to build than stairs. And you can get yourself all the way up to the top up here. And with this thing coming up here and actually landing on this piece of rock here, this is now being supported by... Um, um, two ends. So this part, this is supporting that. That's not supporting anything, but this part's now supporting this, which is supporting all of that. So having two support parts is a good idea. And then at last, guys, this only took six uh, zip line parts or six spun uh, fi web fiber in order to get up here. And then you have yourself a really quick and dirty way to get back down from all the way up here to halfway across the pond back to where most of your guys' main bases are because this pond area where my giant pyramid is over here is a really good way to build. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, please hit that like button for me to let me know you guys want to see more of these builds that I'm going to be doing because I have a couple more of them in mind and I'd love to see what you guys think of them. Leave me some comments down below of ways that you could see improving this bridge idea or if you've done something like this in the past i'd love to know like i said this isn't an original idea this is a conglomerate of seeing a whole bunch of other people's ideas and thought of something really cool for you guys to try out so go ahead and let me know what you guys think make sure you guys subscribe and if you really want to show a little bit of extra support hit that membership button and become a member today i'd really appreciate that and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one